My name is David Cole Hamilton, and I was professor in St Andrews, professor of chemistry for the last 30 years. I retired four years ago, and I've been president of the European Chemical Society for the last three years, finishing in December, currently vice president. Well, I worked with him from 1974 to 1978, and I first met him when I went to be interviewed by him. I walked through the door, he'd just come back from uh, Stockholm where he won the Nobel Prize and he threw the medal at me and I caught it so I got the job. <laughs> and I had four years, tremendous fun. Not much, really, he died fairly soon after that, not very soon but for quite soon and I went off to Liverpool to be a lecturer and he carried on at the Beery College. So really I knew him very well for those four years but not much after that. Well, I often say I loved him, and I did love him. He was a fantastic person, and I, when I went there, when I got the job, people said to me, oh, you're going to hate that. He's a real tyrant, and he's going to say, you haven't done enough hours, you haven't got enough results. But when I went there, it couldn't have been kinder. And in fact, John Bradley, who you probably know, um, once said, has he adopted you as a son or something? And uh, it was, we had a very good relationship. I kind of ran half of his group. And, um, but, but he was an astonishing person. He had, this, they used to say of him, he had 365 ridiculous ideas every year, and two of them were so ridiculous they actually worked. And that's why he got his Nobel Prize, and I think he could have won two other ones as well. Other people have won them, the things he started. So he's a great guy, inspirational, fun to be with. No, I think he. It could be, but I think, I don't know whether he'd mellowed in his older years or having won the Nobel Prize, he didn't have anything to prove anymore. But it, I think you'd find the people who are my vintage find him just very generous and kind. I did have a, an amusing encounter with him. And I'm going to tell you two stories, one of which you probably have to cut out. Um, when he was knighted, I was working with him when he was knighted, and I came in on the Monday morning after it had been announced, and I said, Good morning, Sir Jeff. And he turned to me and said, anybody who gives me any more of that kind of crap, I'll kick him in the balls. <laughs> and um, later in the same day, this is what you might keep in, later in the same day, I saw him, I heard him on the phone, and he was saying to somebody, I've been trying to destroy the system for inside, inside, from inside for years, all they can do is give me a knighthood. <laughs> so he was, he was a character, a great character.